Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this given truss. So this is any truss given to us with the different loads acting on the truss. There are two different concentrated loads. This is 5 kN, 5 kN and the, the dimension of the truss are also given to us which is 4 meter, 4 meter and 4 meter and the vertical distance is 2 meter and this truss is being supported by the hinge and hinge and rotor support so we have to find out the support reactions at these two points this is A point and B point so this is the hinge support so it can take the vertical load R A and here it will be also vertical R B is it is a rotor support so it can also take the vertical loads is there is no horizontal load acting on this beam and this truss so the horizontal component of this load this will be equal to zero because it's a hinge support it can take the horizontal load but there is no horizontal load acting on this truss so that's why the reaction here rax will be equal to zero so to find out the ra and rb we can use the equilibrium equation the first equilibrium equation the we can use here let's suppose the submission of moment at any point equal to zero let's assume that submission of moment at point a equal to zero in this case and let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative so the force that creates a moment about points so how to find out these moments so we know that the moment is equal to the force into moment arm so these two things are needed for to find out the moment at any point. So first force that creates a moment about point A here, this point A, it is 5 kN. So force is 5 kN multiplying it with the moment arm. Now this force creates a moment about point A in the clockwise direction. You can see that's why I take it as positive because the clockwise moment is taken as positive. Now this force multiplying it with the moment arm, this moment arm is 4 meter because it is the distance perpendicular distance from the point where it acts and to the point where you find where you want to find out the moment so this distance is 4 meter now the second force that creates a moment about point A is this 5 kN again and it also acts downward so it creates a moment in clockwise direction about point A so again 5 into moment arm is now the distance from this point up to the A point here the perpendicular distance which is 4 meter in 4 meters, so the total is 8 meter. The next force that creates a moment about point A is this RB, but this force now acts in the opposite direction, it means it's, it's in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from B point up to A point, which is 4 meter, 4 meter, and 4 meter, so the total is 12. So submission of moment at A point. This, these are the all moments about point A due to the different loads acting at different position. So if you shift this 12 RB into the right side, it becomes positive, this one. And now this value, if you simplify this, it becomes 20 into 14. So now RB comes out to be 60 dividing by 12, or simply here we can write 5 kN. So this is the support reaction here acting 5 kN. 5 kN is the support reaction RB. Now to find out the RA, we know that we can use this equation, summation of vertical force is equal to 0, and the upward force is taken as positive, and the downward force are taken as negative. Now the upward force is R, RA and RB, so RA plus RB, and the downward forces are 5 kN and 5 kN, minus 5 minus 5 equal to 0 summation of all the vertical force equal to 0 so now our a comes out to be this becomes 10 if we shift this into the right side 10 minus rb and we know that rb is 5 kN so we put this value so we got here our ra 10 minus 5 so which is 5 kN so here is 5 kN now here we can see clearly that here we can see clearly that 5 kN and 5 kN, 10 kN is the total load acting on the truss and here the reaction are 5 kN and 5 kN which are the equal to the loads acting on the truss. So our support reactions are correctly determined because we can prove that 5 and plus 5 equal to 10 
and also the load rectangle on the truss is 5 plus 5 which is also equal to 10. So hope you guys understand how to find out the support reaction for any type of truss by knowing these formulas how to find out the moment at any point and then by using this equilibrium equation and also by using this equilibrium equation. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.